Guys, this is Muscle Memory. My name's Malcolm. I'm here with Jacob Bot to the Samoan Werewolf. How are you? Man, I'm feeling good, bro. Um, MLW. Hello, Philly. Hello, 2300 Arena. Hello. It's always good. But you know what? It's always good to see you, though. Hey! Hey! Hello. My dog. Hi. My dog. hi, hi, hi. Yeah, I mean, there's so much going on, man. I mean, you had a great match tonight. I really encourage everyone to go watch uh, Alex Kane versus Jacob Fatu, MLW World Heavyweight Championship match. Now, honestly, Jacob, watching this match, it felt, felt a little bit like a swan song. Is this, like, the last time we're going to see you at MLW? No, no, not at all, man. Um, MLW is my home. MLW is the platform that, uh, you know, uh, they gave to me. Not a lot of people didn't know Jacob Fatu until MLW. So, hell no, nah, man. We here for a good time, man. Not a long time. Hello. You know? There it is. So. There it is. Last time I saw you, you didn't have like the blue hair dye. Oh yeah. What's the, what? Why? Why do we have that now? So I've been dying my own stuff. You okay. know. Shout out to my wife. She takes care of my stuff. Shout out to Liz. Love you, babe. You know what I'm saying? Hello. You know. But uh, my oh. wife usually does my hair. But uh, you know, I try to. I'm a big fan of like the Joker. Yeah. So I think I got the wrong green in, but uh. Overall, no, man. It's me just trying to do something different. Amazing. And the crazy thing is, remember on the last one, we were talking about the red hair. Yeah. So, you know, I had to switch it up. A little man. update. Yeah, switch it up. Let's talk about that world title match. I mean, there yeah. was a lot of stuff that happened. Obviously, this, this yeah. video is coming out after the match already aired. Yeah. Um, there was a few moments in that match that looked like you might have gotten hurt. And I saw you, you were limping a little bit. Yeah. What's going on with your knee right now? Man, you know what it is? It was just, it's just, man, this business is like, you know, anything could happen. Yeah. And especially knowing us, like, we, we do this three times out of uh, out of the week. So we're constantly boom, boom, boom. You know, at the end of the day, being a professional wrestler, the ring, the steel and the wood wins every night. That wrestling ring will win every night. I don't care how strong we are, how good we are. You know, that shit takes a toll. So with that being said, man, I had a great week. Thursday, um, we did the Ronda Rousey uh, charity uh, event in Los Angeles uh, for the Hawaiian fires, for the wildfires in Hawaii, which is I was so happy and so proud to be a part of. So shout out to uh, Ronda Rousey and uh, um, Wrestling Revolution, uh, Revolver, I'm sorry, Wrestling Revolver, Sammy Callahan, shout out to Palmer. So uh, Thursday, wrestling with uh, Masha, Masha. Let me tell you. First intergender match ever. Was, yeah. Masha goes crazy. She does. Um, she's been working, but there's a reason why she's one of the top dogs. Yeah. You know, she can, she does her shit. So shout out to um, Masha. Yesterday, Friday, me, my brother, Big Juice. Hey, Pacific Savages, man. Shout out to my brothers. Once it went against the little Migos, man, West Coast Pro. West Coast Pro is our home out there in San Francisco. And then uh, did our thing, show love, and caught a red eye. In Philly, and then man, hello, put on man, well, Alex Kane, no other, no other than my brother. Hello, you know I me? Mean? You're a busy guy, man. I feel like oh, everyone yeah. really needs to acknowledge the fact that you're doing such amazing things in wrestling right now. There's a lot of things you should acknowledge, honestly. Absolutely. I gotta mention it. Your cousin recently had a, a really big match at Crown Jewel against man. John Cena, Solo Sokoa. He, he absolutely squashed that man. Man, did you watch the match? What were your thoughts on? I it? did. I watched it um, live. Um, not live, but live, like, you know, when it was going on on yeah. Peacock. But uh, it was good. It felt like coming from growing up with Uso and seeing John's. I'm like, John Cena, bro, he's going to wrestle all our family members. So for him and Solo to tap in and, you know, for what he did for Solo and what Solo did, it was it was awesome. Well, um, once again, this is my family. I don't, you know, we all like this, locked in. Felt good, man. Damn near brought tears in my eyes. I'm getting goosebumps right now because... You know, this is a business that we love to do. Yeah. It's a business that changed our lives. It's a business that we feed our kids off of. You know, so uh, it was good. I was juiced. I mean, it's Crown Jewel, man. It was. Fuck it, it's John Cena, baby. It's John Cena, man. So, do you think that Solo is the man to dethrone Roman Reigns? You know what? Ooh. It's a little hard, man, yeah, so. because Roman, that's the Uso. That's big dog. That's big dog. That's big Uso. That's, that's big, big Uso. bro. You know. Then we got blessed from the high chiefs of the family. But Solo is the enforcer. And Solo, I mean, it's kind of hard to call. I mean, the way that they're going and how they are, I don't know. It's kind of hard to call. Nothing against my family or nothing. But uh, you kind of got me on that question. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it 100. Okay. Who it knows? <laughs> like, like New Day. Who, 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 who your ass? You know what I'm saying? 
I don't know, man. I can't call it, brother. If Jacob Fatu got in the ring with Roman Reigns one on one, who wins and why? Oh, man. And why is it Jacob Fatu? Man, you know what? I don't even look at myself like that, you know, but, uh, and we're talking about it right now. Yes. You know, uh, but if you're talking that, I mean, I'm not, I can't call it. I mean, honestly, I really can't call it. I mean, this is big dog. This is the reason why Alpha and Sika came out after him and Jay's match and them blessed him. You feel me? And that ain't no random shit, though. That's like really, okay, he's the head. It's the Uso. He's the one that takes care of the family. If you guys go back to the Icons documentary with Yokozuna and Rikishi had mentioned, you know, Yoko was taking care of the family. My dad mentioned it, too. Like, it was, uh, this is a big clan. This is a lot of us. Yeah. So that's in Roman Reigns' hand now. But with Roman Reigns being for who he is and what he's done and what he's been through, I mean, it's kind of hard to really balance me and Roman because keep it 100. No disrespect or anything. Bro's up here. You know, I'm just, you feel me, on the side right now. So, to be honest, fuck, man, he might be up. Absolutely. But I can't call it, though. But at the end of the day, man, nothing but uh, respect, though, to the Uso. Because, man, the Uso's out there doing his thing, man. So, yes. hello, keeping the family alive, keeping the Samoan dynasty alive, keeping the Anawai'i alive, keeping the Fatus alive. I mean, it is what it is, man. But, man, I'm just happy to be a part of the family, for real, for real. Of course, man. I mean, yeah. I feel like you're probably one of the most athletic guys a part of this family right now, especially in this generation. I would actually put you at the top. And oh, do wow. you have a yeah, – I would. I'm okay yeah. with saying that. Right you don't have to on, say right I on. said it. Right yeah, yeah, it's all right. right but you also have like a really big like tournament coming up soon, uh, Nick yeah. Gage Invitational. How yes. do you feel like going into like this tournament? That, it's a deathmatch tournament. That seems difficult. Yeah, it's well, cool. I mean, it's a. Uh, I don't know, man. They reached out. Now it's like okay. Now it's like, can Jacob Fatu do this? Can Jacob Fatu do that? But it's more like to challenge myself. Okay. You know, I want people to respect me for who I am, not because of the family I came from. Right. But, you know, like, when you talk about Jacob Fatu, like, it's respect, but it's respect like, oh, bro, he done done this thing. Yeah. He does this thing. Feel me? He, he executes. You know what I'm saying? He takes care of business. So, with that being said, I mean, my Nick, at GCW Nick, Nick Gage tournament, that's something big. Yeah. That ain't no regular booking. So, with that being said, I mean, I'm nervous to keep it 100 because I don't know how they're going to accept me. Excuse me. Uh, I'm drinking a little bit of beer right now, so I'm kind of, you know, but um, I'm excited. First time in Atlantic City and actually where GCW was working at, that's the place I've always wanted to work into the, what, it looks like a damn circus or something, don't it? But <laughs> yeah, man, I'm excited. I really am. I'm really excited. Don't know who I'm facing, but very, very excited. Do you have any aspirations to become the GCW world champion? Man, wherever it is. Yeah, hell yeah. They put me against whoever got the belt, Blake. Like, I mean, yeah, the, the whole thing is to go out there and win. Yeah. There's a reason why me and Kane, you know, what was it, 40, 50 minutes, 40, 50, almost an hour? Yeah, almost an hour. Yeah, like, yeah, there's a reason. This ain't spot to spot. This ain't calling shit. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get it. Like I said, I want to be remembered for what I do and who I am. I don't want to be remembered just, oh, he's just another small part of the family. But with that being said, man, hey, you best believe December 30th, man, Atlantic City. I'm going to try to tap in and make whoever tap out. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, who are like some opponents you haven't faced yet that you're looking forward to eventually getting in the ring with? Jeff Hardy, Tajiri. And the crazy thing is I'm going to uh, see them next week at WrestleCade. Yeah. So excited. We had Tajiri here at MLW. Yeah. But uh, just really them. I mean, these are guys I grew up with. Yeah. I mean, to keep it 100, you know, my family. Like Solo, Uso, Roman. I don't know if it will happen. If it doesn't, it was leaving the guy's hands. But yeah, man, I'm just a, just everybody. I mean, I could work. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to work everybody. Because like I said, professional wrestling changed my life. But overall, man, probably just Jeff Hardy, man, and Jerry. That's why I do the handstand back for it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I feel like every interview that you're in, I feel like everyone always has a question for you. Do you want to join WWE? Do you have any aspirations to join the company? Do you get tired of being asked that question? No, it's no, because it just shows that what my family is doing is great. Yeah. What Solo and them doing is great. What yeah. Uso and them doing is great. What Roman and Paul Heyman is doing is great. Yeah. I mean, you hear people all the time, oh, the bloodline is too long. We're not doing I mean, man, listen, there's a reason why they're up. Yeah. It's not because the family. It's not because Roman. No, 
Don't get it twisted. My brothers work hard. They didn't work hard to be in that position. I mean, let's go back. When they first started, okay, in and out, in and out. But now is their time. Yeah. But no, never do I get tired. You know why? Because that means that my family's doing good. So hell no. Even if they ask me, you want to be part of the bloodline? I'm like, hell yeah. I mean, who don't want to be with their family? Yeah. But you know, if it don't work, it don't work. I mean, sure. it ain't that it's not going to work. It's just, you know, it's professional wrestling, man. Anything's liable to happen. Yes, sir. So uh, with that being said, at the end of the day, I'm just a supporter. Hello. On the side of the table. Hello. You feel me? So, I love yeah. it. Recently, your cousin Lance on Hawaii left uh, MLW. Would you like to see him join the WWE? I mean, man, I want my family to win. Yeah. Not even just my family. Anybody who's in this business, taking care of their kids, traveling, bumping, working, going home. Mind you, a lot of us got shoot jobs yeah. during the week. Yeah. So whoever's taking care of the family, that's why they say WWE, AEW. Man, listen, I'm happy Impact, TNA, New Japan. Yeah. As long as people, motherfuckers, is taking care of their families, that's the only thing I'm worried about, you know? So shout out to that, though, man. For real, for real. What does, like, Jacob Fatu's day-to-day look like and, like, the struggles of being a professional wrestler? Because, obviously, this industry, yeah. you know, it hurts, obviously. Yeah, I mean, well, my weekly uh, uh, daily basis is uh, the kids, man. Y'all know me. Y'all know I got seven kids, man. And, man, it's about just being a man, just being the best father there is ever. My wife, Liz, man, she does. I think my wife has the hardest job taking care of all seven of them. Yeah. Man, she left me home one day at home with all seven of them. I didn't know what to do, you know? <laughs> so the daily thing with me is just my kids, well, God first, my kids, man. And then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm dad. Yeah. Jacob Fatu, Small Werewolf, that shit gets cut off as soon as I hop on the flight coming back home. But other than that, man, it's training twice a week. We got a school called Oasis Pro. Shout out to Oasis Pro, Berkeley, California. Uh, uh, Juicy, my brother Journey, um, Parisi, and me are the trainers over there. So, man, whenever y'all ready to tap in over there, you know, Berkeley, California, man, that's what it is. But other than that, when I'm traveling news, my, my job starts as soon as I walk out my door. There it is. As soon as I walk out my door, my job starts, bam, on the plane, taking care of business. Like I said, this shit saved my life. So, overall, man, like, the day is hard, but at the same day, if you have passion and love for what you do, it's going to be easy and fun. You yes. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Passion and fun at the end of the day, you know? Of course, of course. We need respect for your time. It looks like MLW's wrapped up. We are probably the only people left in this uh, area. We are. Us. Yeah, we, we are. If we can turn the camera around, there's yeah. nobody in here. There's literally no one else in here. So I'm going to ask you one final question. Yeah. Uh, the next year is coming up soon, 2024. What are your goals for the next year? Man, the goals for next year is to be better than I was this year. The goal for next year is to put my family in a better position than they was last year. The goal for next year is to, for me to be the best that I can be, not only as a professional wrestler, as a father, as a husband, as a motivator, as a teacher, as a speaker, as a person. It don't cost nothing to be nice to motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like my uncle said, Rikishi, on the way to the top, but on the way to the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'll see the same people going to the top. Yeah. But when you get to the top, there's only one way to go. That's down. So treat people good, you know? I treat, my, I treat people good all the time. Because I've been helped my whole life. I've been helped my whole life. So, like, man, I talk to anybody. The janitors, the people, the security. And it, it, it don't work for them just to tell them, hey, man, have a good day. Because it shocks a lot of people, does, you know? Yeah. So basically, man, next year is going to be a better year than this year. Hello. You know what I'm talking about? There it is. Jake Fatu, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. You've been very, you've been very respectful of the, your time right now for and sure. giving you for this interview. Uh, where can you find your social media if they're not already following you? So listen, man, as of now, Instagram, Facebook, cut. Catch me on Twitter. That's it. Some more werewolf, man. And if y'all want to see another interview, y'all know I don't do nothing else but besides with my boy Malcolm right yes, here, baby. Oh, right damn. Here. I'm also so, yeah, man, just, uh, just Twitter, man. That's it, Simone Werewolf. Twitter, man, where y'all can reach me. You guys can also reach me on my email, Jacob52Bookings, with an S at the end, at gmail.com. Nothing but love and respect. Keep God first, man, and the world is yours. Hello. Jacob, thank you. Come thank on, you so bro. much. I appreciate on, you. Bro. I appreciate you. Guys. Muscle memory, baby. Yes, sir. Muscle memory, baby. Goddamn muscle memory, baby. I love this.